Hey folks, how are you? Today I thought I'd show you a really quick tip for the Google Fonts website. You may be looking for that perfect font for a piece of text or for some copy in a project that you have, but you're not quite sure which font's going to work best. Well, I'm going to show you how you can quickly choose the greatest font for you. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to head on over to the Google Fonts website. So here we are, here's the Google Fonts website all loaded and we can see here that we have a choice of 818 font families. That's quite a lot of fonts. Let's have a quick scroll through, get them all loaded. So you can see here we've got a nice wide varied selection of fonts to choose from. Now a lot of people would look at the fonts as they are here and then download one which they think might work, install it on their system, open up their software, type in their text, and they'll either like what they see or not. If they don't, they will go back to Google Fonts, download another font, install that, try it out, and so on and so on. What some people don't realize is though, is that you can actually test out your text on the Google Fonts website in place. All you need to do is pick one of the fonts that you like. Let's scroll down here. We'll choose Rubik Mono 1 because it's nice and bold. Simply highlight all of the text. Type in what you need. And voila, you can see the font showing the text that you want. Now what you can also do actually is you can click apply to all fonts and it will change every single font on the Google Fonts website to your chosen text. And then you can scroll through and see exactly how that font will look with the text that you want to use. This is a much quicker way to do it. And once you find the font that you like, so let's just say we want to choose Able, click on the little plus sign here that will add the font to your basket. If you only want the one, that's fine. If you want to choose another one, so let's say we choose Merryweather, we click on plus again, it adds it to the basket. Here we can see the two fonts. Simply click on the little download arrow, download the fonts to your computer, install, and you're free to use as you wish. I hope that's been a helpful tip to you today. Stay creative, folks.